Hey guys, uh, this is my Game Gear project that I've been working on, um, trying to improve the um, backlight on it. Now, what I originally tried to do was use surface mount uh, LEDs. Let's see, I don't know if focus there then. And they're stuck to the end of a an LED, frosted LED uh, sort of rod, and lights shine either side, LED lights, two on I, one on each side, shine through, and uh, basically it tries to replace the... Uh, CCL tube on the back. Now it's kind of all right, but not brilliant. It's still not really very bright. Um, and what I discovered is other people have been using DS screens uh, to get it to work, and uh, I've come up with an alternative to a DS screen, and that is a, a just about see it in the back there. And that's an iPhone 4 backlight. Now lots of people crack iPhone screens, so when they get replaced, um, there's lots of friends of mine around who are always um, cracking their screens. And when they get replaced, I ask for the um, uh, backlight, the, the, the screen replacement, the old shattered one, and I peel off the backlight from it. And I've got it in the back here. And if I just I switch on the again gear, obviously that's making hopefully appropriate needs. I've got a shinobi in there, yep. So it is working. If I just, unfortunately at the moment, I've got this, it takes 12 volts to get the backlight working. working. But when it does come on, Almost, it's almost too bright, but no, it's not. It's absolutely perfect. Now, what I will do is uh, put some uh, black tape just on the side, the right-hand side there, that uh, uh, just to cover up the bit that's uh, exposed, just so it doesn't shine through on the uh, bezel when I put it back together again. Uh, you can see it's uh, absolutely awesome. Now, unfortunately, it does take 12 volts. To get it working, it does take 12 volts to get it working. So that's where this comes in. Now this is a step-up transformer. It will convert 5 volts. Put 5 volts through here, and then you've got a little uh, turn thing here, and uh, you adjust this so the output is 12 volts, and then you attach it to the ribbon cable of the backlight, and you get 5 volts up to 12 volts, and then backlight so and it is quite big compared to the size but it will fit nicely in the bottom of the case just behind the there's plenty of space in the bottom of the case just behind the uh, uh, cartridge underneath the cartridge on the back of the uh, game gear so there's plenty of room for this it's not that big it's only about uh, sort of four or five centimeters across and sort of two two and a half two centimeters wide and not very tall at all, so it will fit nicely in the back of, this, uh, of the thing. I'll see if I can. I'll just go and find the case. So here's the inside back of this again gear, and there's the inside back cape cover of the case, and you can see that it fits. It's relatively easily in there. I don't know. I'm sure I have to jigger it around a little bit. Probably put one side, or maybe I might have to uh, just desolder the cap on one side and have it on a on a small lead. But uh, this should fit nicely, just sort of in the bottom here. This is the back of the case, obviously is where the batteries go. It might even go this way, I don't know how it goes in, but it will fit, I'm sure. I will make it fit. And that means I get 12 volts to my uh, Game Gear. Well, I've got everything back in the case. Uh, so the Game Gear is now whole again. The uh, step-up con uh, transformer converter is uh, sat just behind the cartridge slot here on the on the underneath on the back. Um, I've put the managed to put the screen back in. It's ever so slightly wonky, but because this is my experimental unit and a sort of a test, I really don't mind so much that it's a little bit off kilter. Um, I actually found out that the voltage nearly was nearly 15 volts, nearly 15 volts to get it working. I don't know if that's going to be too high and going to burn out the. Um, LEDs quicker, I'm not entirely sure. So everything seems to be all right, so I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, I put it at 15 because I felt it wasn't bright, but I've been comparing it about with some other uh, game gears that I've got, although I do need to fix the cat kits on them to make sure that, um, to see if it's working properly. But this is a lot brighter than the original stock screen now, so maybe I do need to go knock it down to 12. I don't know, I'm not sure. Um, anyway, here it goes. Switch it on. And that is a iPhone 4 backlit game gear that's full brightness 
and then obviously uh, no brightness. I mean, the brightness control isn't really a brightness control. It just uh, either I think it just either turns all the uh, L LCD screen on or off. Uh, the backlight just remains on. Um, but there we go. That is all fixed. Um, yeah, I want to test out how long the battery lasts because now I've got it up to 15 volts. Unfortunately, I can't do it with my uh, test unit because the spring tab has broken off. It had uh, corroded, but somebody left batteries, obviously, in this this particular game gear that I got. So uh, it doesn't work properly with batteries, but um, I'll probably fix that at some point and then uh, um, run a battery test to see how long you do get with uh, six AA batteries. But one would hope that it's a lot longer than the usual 60 minutes or 50, 45 minutes you usually get from... Uh, uh, AA batteries in the old with the old screen so yep there you go obviously this it's an absolute bugger to get the screen back in uh, because you take off the plastic plate the white plastic plate so um, I'll have to do some more work on that to get that right but uh, there we go all in all done see you later